welcome to Grab Life by the Horns. Powered by Legacy Builders Global. And we are Jennifer Pekan and Jan Mark Pekan. Hello and welcome to our next episode of Grab Life by the Horns. Today we are talking about why cheap food is an entrepreneurial tool. And this topic is chosen by Jan, uh, was chosen by Jan Mark. So um, this question goes to you directly. Why cheap food, cheap food <laughs> is an entrepreneurial tool? So uh, it seems the episode will be really funny because I can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, hello from my side as well. And I have chosen this topic um, because I, I was reminded by it when I watched a, a Gary Vaynerchuk video lately where he said, like, don't underestimate the power of the 99 cents pizza slides um, because they can keep you going. And um, we're, we're not want to discuss on this episode about like the quality of food and stuff like this um, that you um, have to cut maybe sometimes if you get really cheap food. Okay, you don't always have because you can buy uh, fresh vegetables as well and cook yourself and that's pretty cheap. Um, but um, what I want to discuss today is basically that as an entrepreneur, you have to keep your costs in check. And that sometimes also means that you have to cut back on private costs, not only on company costs, because if you cut back on private costs, you have to pay yourself less salary, you need less money to sustain your lifestyle, you can have a longer period, a longer dry streak, basically, in order to get to where you want to go. And that's what I really want to discuss today about. And for us, um, that has always been the case. We're not big spenders. Uh, we buy the things that we need. Um, the only person in this household where we don't really cut back is our son. So he um, he gets um, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that he that he likes and that all the kids would love. But on ourselves, we're a little bit more. Um, less spending let's put it like that um because we're um we're looking at things differently if um yes we're uh, we're buying computer we're buying like the tools you need to do the business um but even though though there we are upgrading slowly like we we didn't start with the most expensive equipment we started with cheap laptops um we have bought then um one macbook for jennifer as the um Basically, um, the other laptop reached the lifespan. Um, now my laptop is um, reaching the lifespan. Now we, we have bought a second MacBook. And those are the things that um, you can do also in a business that you are thoughtful of where you basically invest your money in. Um, because uh, to be honest, um, a new laptop doesn't bring you any new clients. Um, so it doesn't bring you any more revenue. Um, the only thing is that at one point, like laptops become really slow and you, first of all, you run the risk that they just die unexpectedly and then you have loss of data. You might need two or three days to replenish the laptop. So you're losing maybe two, three days of work, which can be more costly than actually buying a laptop and trashing the one that is still working or putting it aside. Let's put it like that. You don't have to throw it out. Um, but um, we want to invest the money in the companies where we basically get more clients. So that means into marketing, into branding, but also into investments that at the end make more money, right? Um, because that's, that's what it's all about. If you, if you look at it, it's like in order to get over this curve where you are um, getting, um, getting ahead, um, of like your spending basically that is where you hit this financial freedom because it's you have two choices you can increase the income or you can decrease the expenses those are the only two things you basically basically can do so we always choose the balance of both that's true and um, when we um, this, uh, this decreased 
our expenses as well. Um, one of the things was as well to move to Cyprus, basically, um, because it's um, way cheaper the way of living here and uh, the, the quality of life is way better that we had before. So um, we increased our quality of life by decreasing our costs and um, it was uh, not only a strategic um, yeah not only a strategic um, move, move <laughs> decision this was the word I was looking for um, to to move to Cyprus but um, as well well we, we, lo we love Cyprus and we think it's a beautiful country to live here um, but obviously like um, it makes things easier um, in way of like um, of the financial part um, to uh, just to push our companies forward and um, you know there's always the time where you can spend all the money uh, but for us it's not now but on the other side as well um, and when Jan Mark put up this topic so we had it all we have it already a while off on our list was as well that um, I think it's a really creative way as well and I don't please don't like nail us on the on the point cheap food but um, it's as well a great creative tool or creative way to add on new partners or uh, employees because like the most important thing is that you are going as if you want to make the move from the self uh, employed person to um, the um, to a um, business to, to a business owner, that you are getting out more and more and exit out more and more on um, on your company. So that means that you work more on your company instead of in your company. And I think this was the most um, uh, most scared move as well when we hired the first person and we started I think with a. Uh, like with a, a cleaner for our house, then as well the babysitter and all the things like that. And um, you realize that this person count on you that you pay them on a regular basis. So you have to be able to take this responsibility and to make, this, uh, to make things right and to pay them on a regular basis. Um, on the other side, when you start out and you are really scared of this, taking this responsibility, and I talked uh, about this as well with one of our partners uh, that, you know, um, if you have the feeling that something is too expensive for you or you cannot afford it, find a creative way to, um, uh, to well, get paid. And you can get paid in so many different ways. And um, if you work as a team and if you have the same vision, of course, you cannot do this with everybody. But um, if you have the same vision, you have the same mission and the plan, you know, like working together as a team sometimes means as well for our team that we put everything in one basket, what we have, and then um, everybody plays to his strength and we, we just like share what we have equally. Um, so for a short term of, of course, for a short uh, period of time, but um, that we can figure out how we can move on the next step. Because every time when you move to the next level and if you take on board a new employee and if you take on board new expenses, you know, it, there's always the, the level which you actually say, well, you know, um, it, it hurts in this moment, you move to the next level. It always is. It's not just that you uh, that you earn that much that you can say, well, okay, and now I can hire like 10 new people. No, you have to, you have this level, you earn more than before, and then you have to cut down again um, to hire the new one. And this is a situation what hurts. So, but if you are a team and if everybody is willing to push forward in order to make this vision and mission possible, um, then it hurts less because everybody has to, um, to sacrifice less for the next level. And this is what, uh, what we are, for example, doing in our team, that we really work together in a team um, as well, financial wise, I would say. What do you think about that? Yeah it's um yeah i mean if if you if you want to build the company and if you want to build the team it is really like that you always um you, 
let's face it, you get paid last, okay? Um, that's the job. If, if, if you are the entrepreneur, if you are the business owner, you get paid last. All your employees. In the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning. Well, also at the end. I mean, all your employees get their salaries and everything. And it's your job to make sure that there is more than enough for you at the end. But um, like, even if you look at it legally, um, you are the, like ev everybody has to be paid before you can take a dividend. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, but if if we're looking at it from the other side, it it means that um, every time when you grow the company, when you grow the business, you have to do investments. Okay, you have to invest into marketing. You have to invest into people, into tools. If you are manufacturing, into software, computers, what what whatever. I mean, there's always something you. You need to put your money towards. And that means that um, usually um, bec you have to do the investment before um, you get the benefit. Okay, smart is it when you maybe already sold it or already have a contract so that you know you're gonna like, get the money, um, what you invested basically back plus a profit. But cash flow wise, you always invest first. And um, that also is like for, for you, if you are an employee, that's the same thing. If you want to get like financially free or you want to make sure you have more money when you retire, it's kind of the same thing. Yes, later you will have more money than most of your friends or most of your family and you might be financially free at one point while nobody else is reaching that. But the investment comes out first, which means that also there, you have, you have to take, or you have to be willing to take this, this financial hit where you say, okay, now I'm investing money, I'm investing time, and I can only like invest my money once and I only can invest my time only once. So if I have done that, then um, obviously you have less than somebody else right now, but it's going to pay off later. And this is the thing that um, a lot of people, they... Um, they don't understand and this is a major difference between when you build a team and when you build a business versus when you are self-employed. So because we are in the real estate business and that's like a pretty, a pretty straightforward example. If we would sell all the properties to direct clients, we would be like the only agent, the only company um, doing it. So we would need to acquire all of the clients. We need to, um, we need to acquire all of the um, property make like all of the work and then um, get all of the money so the the this way to creating money is much faster than when you're building a team because when you're building a team it means that you need to share the money basically that's coming in you also share the work but in the beginning it's not um, it's not a balance you get less money um, and you have to at least work the same amount of hours than your team um, and they will get more money in the beginning but if you look at it on the long term because we always say business is a marathon then on the long term you will just outperform everybody um, because it's just it, it's just the, the way it is because you will be able to work the same amount of hours or less um, for more and more and more money because people will work for you. Yes, they will get the majority of all of the revenue, but at one point the revenue is going to become so huge that it doesn't really matter. If I mean, if you look at it, it's like um, uh, Jeff Bezos, okay, not to name always Elon Musk, but Jeff Bezos, <laughs> um, he could like still like program the website himself what he did all in the beginning, like put the, uh, uh, go to a warehouse, hire a few people maybe, um, run the whole operation himself, um, and he would probably, he would probably be a millionaire, right? But he would not have made it to <laughs> a billionaire that also runs um, a space company, because that's impossible, right? And And he basically took the hit in the beginning where he was earning less money, where he drove the same old car for a long time, 
where all of this, it was not about corporate jets, and like everything mentions and whatever he has right now, but um, it was about living this um, lifestyle with no expenses while probably his managers were making more money than, than him and working less hours. But if you look at him now, he's like making in a second probably what a lot of people are making um, um, a year. So th this is like, th this just shows the power of, of when, you, when you are willing to live cheap for a certain period of time. It doesn't mean you have to live cheap all your life, but it's about, do, it's about the choices. Do you really need to uh, have this expensive dinner? Do you really need to have the expensive clothes, $200 shoes and stuff like that? Or can you maybe live with uh, $20 shoes and have the $180 in your business earning a return because you are able to maybe drive more client acquisition? Well, to be honest, like I, um, for this reason, I uh, don't really, um, well, I think it's bad that we are in lockdown right now, <laughs> that, we are, that we are not able to travel so much because it really um, makes it possible that we can invest more in our companies uh, because we don't have that much um, expenses, um, what we would have um, if there would be the life um, before we have Corona and the pandemic. Uh, not that I want to have it like it is, like, like it is, but a good thing out of it is that we have less expenses, what, and that means we can invest more in our companies. Um, this is the one thing. The other thing, uh, what jumped into my mind is as well, like, um, don't forget to reward yourself, okay? Like, it not make uh, any sense that, That's true. Um, that you don't spend any money and that you are really, um, I'm not sure the, the English word for geizig, but uh, if, you, if you keep everything by yourself and don't want to spend the money in, in any case, uh, because it's as well a mindset thing that, uh, you know, com money comes to you and in any way. Uh, like uh, or like our coach would say like money is laying on the street um, and you just have to grab it but uh, on the other side is as well like of course you can be really really um, um, like aware of where, what do you do with your money and as well like um, work with your team together um, on this vision on this mission and everybody like sacrifices but on the other side um, is as well um, that you are responsible as well, not rewarding your team, but yourself as well um, for the sacrifices. And this is a really, really important move. So it's just like, I would say, a saving on the short term because you will invest the money anyway. But um, it, you know, but you cannot only take from the team. So this is like everybody, it, it has to be, communicated really openly and for us and for our team it works really really good because we are um, all more or less on the same page um, and it, especially in, the, in this point we are on the same page and for 200 percent and we push all forward we all want to uh, to achieve more and we are really aware that we have to sacrifice at the moment uh, some stuff in order to reinvest in our companies in order to grow and everybody of us has uh, their own companies as well, like separate from what we do together. And this is another point what we really take care of, that um, if people work with us, and our, it doesn't matter if it's our partners or our employees, that they are financially independent from us. Not like, obviously not directly uh, financially independent in, in general. We are working on this, uh, but from us, because uh, we don't want to have people, they work only with us because of the money. We want to have people, they work with us because they want to achieve the same, they have the same values and the same goals for our clients as well. And um, this is, um, I think, a really important move. And we are super grateful for our, our partners and for our employees as well for that. Yes, and you, you made a very important point. You have to reward yourself. And that, and that can look in, a, in very different ways, right? Um, what Jennifer mentioned uh, before is that 
we basically did the investment and uh, we have a we have a housekeeper and right now she's also the nanny uh, because of like Felix can't go to the kindergarten so um, but for us this is also a, a type of a reward it's like a necessity and a reward okay um, we don't enjoy doing the laundry we don't enjoy taking care of um, like cleaning the kitchen, cooking is different, um, or cleaning the bathroom and the shower and everything, uh, vacuuming. Um, this is like not what we. That's not ironing. What, ironing. This is this is not <laughs> what we. That's not what we love. Um, and we love more to work, but also we we want Felix to be like taken care of and that he has somebody to play with and so on. And, and as long as he can't go, uh, can't go to the kindergarten, and. It's like th this can it can be a reward, right? You can say, okay, I'm willing to maybe have like a cheaper kind of food or not go. Uh, you don't even need to save on food, but you can maybe say, okay, I'm I'm not going uh, one time a week um, for uh, for a dinner outside in a restaurant, but I get a cleaner, right? That can be a reward. It's like it's the but it's depending on you if you say okay i don't mind that in the evening i listen to a nice podcast and i do the vacuum and and cleaning and i rather do that and then one evening i go out and have a nice dinner then that becomes your reward it it's just don't be boxed in the reward depends on heavily what what you would like what you feel good about it and um, we always say business is a, is a marathon, and it really is. And there you have to think of the rewards, like uh, the stations where, where you can get water and like one of this, um, the sport bars, this energy bars or whatever, um, where you can grab your bags. Like, be because this is like, this is what's going to keep you going then for the next couple of kilometers until you get to the next stop, basically. And as well, what uh, for example, for, for the rewarding, and um, I know that we already talked about uh, this topic as well, but for us as a rewarding is as well that we uh, go from time to time to a hotel, um, not far from, from the home, but at, at least for two nights, um, each of us separately, that we reward ourselves and just live with our own routine, because this is one thing we're really missing and especially since we moved um, and don't have this net of um, like that we have the all infrastructure, yeah, the infrastructure yeah. that we all organized um, about the nannies and all the things what we had already in Germany. So uh, the thing is that um, that we have to find new ways as well to take care of ourselves and to go from time to time to a staycation, how it called. Um, and go to a hotel you know this is a rewarding as well like and we go to a five-star hotel um and just and take massage or go to sports and really it doesn't mean that we are not working but it's like we work differently we can work more creatively and um, we have a better like a better focus afterwards as well because we had two days we can take care of us so we can eat when we want, we can eat what we want, we can uh, sleep when we want and just follow our routine and this is super super um, helpful in this situation and kind of rewarding as well, you know, like this is if we, if we could not find any nanny, this was the rewarding for us that uh, we say okay, we, well at the moment we don't have any nanny and we cannot find anyone so we would uh, take this uh, this money and reward us in this way because um, every four to six weeks uh, we have to take a break and this could be uh, a rewarding as well yeah or it can be like um, like computer games right <laughs> if, if it's like sometimes that that's it for me just like playing a computer game for half an hour or an hour and just getting like this sh very short reward mm. um, it can be a, it can be a walk in the park it can be um, it, it can be so many things they don't really have to cost a lot of money but you have to find this this creative way of saying like okay I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna reward myself with that and um, basically as an entrepreneur it's uh, it's your job to make the most out of the money you have 
and if you if you have a thousand dollar ten thousand dollar a hundred thousand dollar how much money you have doesn't matter it the question is how long can you make it last okay because some people can't last a day with a thousand dollars another can last a whole month or even longer with a thousand dollars so um in order to to conclude this episode this is this is really the um the, the point is make the most out of the money you have and just be a mindful spender where do you want to spend the money where do you need to spend the money don't forget to reward yourself and make sure that you can last as long as you can on the money you have because at one point if you keep on putting the work if you keep on showing up you will get the result it's just a matter of time at that point if you do the right thing so the question is if you can make the money last long enough you have more chances basically it's like baseball you have can take more swings on more balls and it's just like a game of chance until you hit that home run that's a really good point actually it's it's a, a great tool for everybody who does not achieve the goal yet and want to um, achieve it as fast as possible. So um, this is really like, and if you can, uh, like if you put it for, for yourself, it's amazing. If you already um, as well, like include your team with that, it's even better because you are more people like working um, on the same mission and vision. It makes more fun. It hurts less. And it is even more effective. So um, that is really an amazing tool to achieve the goals faster. If you have any questions to that or want to have more insights, please don't hesitate to contact us. You have our contact details available. If not, just write us an email at mail at legacybuildersglobal.com. And we are more than happy to um, answer all of your questions. And with this, we leave you for uh, this time and looking forward uh, to have you in the next episode. Have a great time. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Do you want to get paid? Introducing Legacy Builders Global, where everybody gets paid. We don't create investors. We create legacy builders. Legacy Builders Global. Visit us at www.legacybuildersglobal.com.